Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're gonna learn how we can edit like DA edits and for this video we're gonna create this animation. I think it's a pretty cool animation which is really easy to make and without any further ado let's just start. Alright so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm going to set the width and height and 1080 by 1920. I'm going to change the frame rate to 24 frames per second. And now let's reduce the duration to 5 seconds. Okay. And let's call it main. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to bring the uh, asset folder in here, which is a AI image of a man standing. And now let's apply a text. So I'm just going to write the word here this out so let's press enter and then i'm going to push it beneath the layer and i'm going to adjust it like this i'm going to scale it that seems good so let's change the font i'm going to change it to elvitka Okay, that seems good. Now let's animate the text. To do that, I'm just going to go towards the animate menu and I'm going to click on opacity. And then let's set the opacity on zero. And let's open the range selector. And I'm going to animate the start for zero to one second for a hundred percent. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the advanced menu and I'm going to change the based on from the characters to words. So we'll have an animation like this which is exactly what we want. And now on the next step, let's select the layer and let's create the uh, sort of the dust revealing animation. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm just going to turn this layer into a black and white by applying the black and white effect. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow effect and then I'm just going to check the shadow only. And let's increase the opacity. Let's increase the distance and let's increase the softness. Okay, that's good. Now let's just apply a set matte effect so we only apply the shadow to the character border. And now what we can do on the next step is that we can rebuild the original layer by adding a CC composite. And I can change the transfer mode to behind so we can see only the shadow in the behind. However, we need to turn off the RGB only. So now everything is fixed. We have the shadow in here and we have the main character. And now we can colorize it by adding a tint effect. So I'm just going to change it to a red color for now. And now what we can do is that and we can add a edge lighting effect by um, Boris and Sapphire. And on the next step what we can do is that we can change the highlights. So I'm just going to change the color of the highlights to a red color. And I'm going to change the duration. And I'm going to increase the elevation. So something like this should be fine. That's good. As you see, we have some lights in here. And now what we can do to reveal the effect is that we can use the a wipe uh, diffuse by the sapphire. And what we can do is that we can set the, as you see, if I now change the wipe, we will have this effect. So I can set the wipe on 100 and I can set a keyframe and I can turn it back. And now I can animate it from the 100 to 0. So we'll have something like this. Great. Now what we can do is that we can create a new solid layer. I can, I'm going to push it beneath and this is going to be our background. Let's apply a gradient wrap effect into it. And let's just change his color. That seems good. We can change it to radial. 
Also, we can think we can change it to purple. That's fine. And now what I can do is that I'm just going to add a deep glow effect for the text. Let's just set the radius to 140. Let's turn down the exposure to 0.4. And we can duplicate it to make it even better. But I think this should be fine. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new camera for the animation. Let's hit OK. Let's switch to two wheels. And so we can see the uh, camera better. So right now the camera is set on here. And as you see, we cannot do anything because we didn't set the modes on 3D. So I'm just going to do that. And now what I can do is that I'm just going to fix the position, these two texts. So I'm just going to push it a bit front. And then I'm going to push this text a bit backward. So we will have something like this. And I'm going to just zoom it like this. You know what I mean? And I'm just going to press P to reveal position. And then I'm just going to zoom it a bit like this. So we will have this animation. Let's play it one more time. Let's change the render to third so we can see it faster. And I'm going to apply the standard easings. So as you see, here's the animation, which is pretty easy. And now what I can do is that I can create a new solid layer and I'm going to call it optical flares. And I'm going to add the optical flares by the video copilot. Let's change its source type to 3D. And then what I can do is that I'm just going to turn it, set it on one view and we can change the render mode to transparent so we can see everything. And then I can just set the light. Let's just change the position of the light to here. That seems good. Let's increase the brightness a bit. Now let's change this color. That is good. Let's decrease the scale a bit. Right now it, it's a bit intense. That is good. Now let's go and give it a bit more depth by adding an adjustment layer. I'm just gonna add it. I'm gonna call wiggle. I'm gonna add a wiggle position. Right now the wiggling is too much. Let's set the amount for example to mm, 10 so well, let's just change the speed to 3 and we can set it on 5 actually so we can have some wiggling like this however let's just increase the background okay that is good now we can just turn down the frame rate a bit by adding another adjustment layer i'm gonna add the post rest time so let's just set the post rest times to 50. Okay, so everything is good now. Now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to create a, let's call this one a post rest time. Now the next effect I'm going to add is the optics uh, compensation. And let's just increase the field of view. And then let's reverse the lens. So we have sort of a distortion like this, which is exactly what we want. Now, what we can do is that we can create a new adjustment layer. Let's call this one OS. And I'm going to just add a lux. So let's go towards the edit. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a gradient. Okay, that is good. Let's just change the gradient color a bit. And that is good. Let's hit OK. Now on the next step, I'm just going to add a new adjustment layer again. And this time I'm going to add the flicker effect. And let's just increase the amplitude. And we can decrease the frequency. So this is too much. Let's just... That is good. Okay, now I'm just going to create a new solid layer. And let's call it the mask. And I'm going to create a border by going into the rounded rectangle tool and double clicking on it. And now what we can do is that I'm just going to select the 
points and I'm gonna push them a bit towards here and then the right side I'm just gonna select it I'm gonna do this step quickly again now let's go for the top part again and again and lastly we can invert this mask so now we will have a border like this so here we are at the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much goodbye